Good morning, welcome to Lancavi Island and we've been here for a few days but today we are going to do something interesting that everyone suggested. We are going on a mangrove tour. Mangrove tours are one of the best activities in Lankavi. Most tours go with a motorboat through the mangrove forest, but we wanted to add some fun and go deeper into the forest, which is why we booked a kayaking tour. I will leave the links to both tours in the description. Watch this video so you can decide which tour is for you. In 10 minutes, a driver should pick us up. We are not really sure if they are coming or not. No one contacted us. We have the number, but well, hopefully someone will come soon. We were expecting a van, but it's just a car. <laughs> okay, now we are walking to get our boat and with our boat we should go to a floating restaurant and then kayaking. The mangrove forest is part of Kilimjo Forest Park on the northeastern coast of Lankavi Island. Yeah. It's okay to sit here? is not like any other park. It's a window into the Earth's distant past. Most rocks here formed 370 to 490 million years ago. Imagine the ground beneath us and the rocks that tower over the water are nearly half a billion years old. This geopark is older than dinosaurs. This geological history combined with its stunning landscapes attracts thousands of tourists every year. Kilim is one of the most successful ecotourism hub in Malaysia. just arrived in our floating restaurant and we are waiting for our fire to be ready and there are some uh, big tanks with fish inside I don't know if they are cooking the fish lobster from these tanks and they're alive so they should be very fresh or it's just for a show See a stingrays in a small tank is truly heartbreaking. They are meant for the open ocean, not confined spaces. Sadly, these precious marine creatures are used to entertain tourists, who often don't realize that touching them can harm them. Fish and marine animals have a protective, a slimy, mucus layer, and when we touch them, we damage this vital coating. By kayaking, we can navigate through the narrower channels that motorboats can't access. As we paddle deeper into the heart of the mangroves, it is important to understand the extraordinary place surrounding us. Lankavi's mangrove forests are not just beautiful, they are crucial for the health of our planet and the well-being of the local communities. They play a vital role as an extremely strong barrier against sea-based threats such as storms and flooding. 
Plus, they are often called blue carbon, since they have the ability to store up to four times more carbon than other tropical forests, playing a critical role in our fight against climate change. For millions of people, the mangroves are more than just a forest. They are a source of life. They provide food, income, and a foundation for the well-being of local communities. Here is very quiet. Waters of these forests are abundant with fish, crucial for local fishermen. We are now heading to the eagle watching area, and after that we go into a second forest. Looking forward to that because outside the forest is really hot. <laughs> it's a really fun experience so far. This area used to be a fishing village, where fishermen would sometimes leave part of their catch in the water, which the eagles happily took advantage of. Nowadays, with tourism offering better economic opportunities, many locals have shifted to conducting tours, and some of the larger boats make it a point to feed the eagles. As a result, the eagles have become reliant on these easy meals, preferring to wait for the boats rather than hunt for their food. During the pandemic, when there was no tourists around, eagles in this area found themselves struggling to find food. Just so an hour, but very small, like this size. The biodiversity within this mangrove forest is astounding. They are home to countless species, each playing its part in the ecological balance. These waters also act as natural water purifiers, significantly improving the quality of the water around them. I'm trying to park my car. Now our kayak is safe and secure, parked, so we can jump to the water and swim. It's really hot, so a swim is good and refreshing. Oh, it's, it's, it's not deep at all. Uh, here's not deep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not <laughs> We are just a few minutes far from where we were supposed to see our snakes. So, I don't know if the snake can come here or not. Our guide is say it's safe, there is no snake. We trust him. Should we? Oh. Getting into the kayak is the hardest part. Oh, I did it, okay. I wash my feet. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Our lunch is pretty simple. Uh, I think this is chicken, rice, and some sort of soup. And we ordered shrimp. So, very simple, but we're so hungry after a lot of like paddle.
Our next stop is Clover Cave, famously known as the Bat Cave. It is located in the heart of Clean Mangrove Swamp. And now we are going to a bat cave and already we smell the poop. It's very smelly. But watch out, it's okay. As you can guess by the name, this cave is home to a large colony of bats. Two monkeys are following us only because I have a bottle of water here. And you can see the crab only low time. You can see the monkey. This is the end of our tour and luckily we were successful and we didn't get attacked by monkeys, angry ones. So it's nice to end the day by going on the water. That's why we are taking a sunset cruise and for four hours actually. Uh, now it's 3.30. So at four we are leaving the deck and we are going on the water. We will watch the sunset and then we will end our day. cruises we can book and actually apparently this is the luxury one because when we were booking it was saying that this is the VIP one it doesn't mean that it's private we are with other group but we have a nice airport and we have four hours other cruises they have three hours on the sea the funny thing is that we are here to watch the sunset but it's so cloudy I don't think the sunset is happening and I, I feel some drops of rain and it's raining I don't mind, it's really, really hot here. Yeah. Not the best sunset in the world, but the best sunset so far for today. Oh my God.